Donata Travel shares their recent findings on the outbound travel market. So we found uh, the uh, generally the majority of our travellers have been um, couples. So that's about 42%, um, followed by families making up that 37%. Um, part of this though also is I feel that our couple travellers have travelled more frequently over the summer. Um, and then we've seen a lot of families taking those longer holidays during that summer break period. Um, and then followed by um, groups of friends and solo travellers as well have, have been in there. We're finding um, that, that in terms of activities or excursions, our customers are seeking to book more of their holiday before they depart. So we're really seeing people purchasing those fuller packages through our one-stop travel shops. Tourism veteran Nasir Jamal Khan highlights key emerging destinations. One of the emerging destinations is Ireland. The, this in, in towards the European side. You look into the other side, one of the emerging market, and very surprisingly, people are not very familiar with that yet, all right, it's Philippines. These two markets are the emerging markets in, in reality. On the African side, it is Rwanda. Nirvana Travels witnesses more demand for beach properties. There was uh, many of people uh, this summer, they uh, choose to travel from UAE to outbound. And they have uh, selected the area where there is a beach properties and there is a less restrictions, uh, uh, less restrictions, you know, of quarantine. So they have selected countries like Seychelles, Maldives, Mauritius uh, and Russia. Mostly people, they select the beach properties where uh, especially there is a villas with a private pool. Saudi Arabian Airlines launches new campaign. Expo 2020 introduces an Emirati design platform. Qatar Airways organizes a six-day sale to London.